on this BMW door that's damaged. I've marked off them, the damage with pen. This is going to be a little bit of damage on the front door too, which I'll be taking care of. This will be a double blend, meaning the quarter panel will be used as a blend panel. So will the front door. I'll be taking all the trim off these doors. Side moldings, mirrors, belt moldings, handles. This dent on this rear door is just not going to push out from the inside. I've taken the trim panel off. There's quite a big brace up inside that's actually in behind the dent. So you can't push it out really. It's going to be pulled from the outside. Um, that's why you can see all these high creases. Because the panel's pushed into the inner structure. So bit of a complex dent, even though it looks small, it's not that easy of a repair. It's going to be uh, a little bit of patience and slowly bring it, the outer skin back into shape away from the inner structure. I've got the sheet metal pulled out pretty well here. I'm pretty happy with this. This line that was quite bowed in is nice and straight now where it's supposed to be. This big high spot's been taken down and some of the other creases I had in here have been leveled out. Um, so that's okay. I'm pretty happy with that. So it's going to be a skim coat of filler just to level some of the low spots off. And then it's ready for primer. Makes for a nice clean repair without adding a whole lot of body filler or heating the sheet metal. Distorting the sheet metal too much. I'll also be refinishing uh, the license plates around. Somebody's done something weird with this. <laughs> it didn't, burn. didn't work out too well. Uh, also, this horrible gap between the moldings. I'm going to try to uh, close that up to factory gaps. I'm ready to paint this uh, BMW 320. So most of the damage was in this door against this body line. A little bit on the front. The front door will be a uh, blend within. I can fade my color out within the panel. And the rear door, that's too close to the quarter panel to save it. From not blending so my color will just transfer over past the door edge door gap into the quarter panel and that'll make for a really smooth color transition most of the color has been applied now I'm still blending out the color a little bit to get rid of some of the shadowy uh, areas All my colors applied now. I've got uh, maybe four, maybe five coats faded out. Now it's really, really, really important to stay off the front fender. No color on this edge, or you can have a problem with the color. So my main color ends mid panel. Well, it's time for the clear coat. You can see base coat dries completely flat, no gloss whatsoever. It's a very thin coating, it's just color pigment uh, to get the deep gloss and the durability. It needs to be clear coated. Uh, we'll be putting two coats of high build, high solids, clear coat on it, which is equivalent to three, four coats of the old style clear, which doesn't meet uh, Enviro standards anymore. All reassembled, it's ready for cleanup. Everything's worked out really well. Side moldings are on, handles are back on, no trace of any painting on the gasket. Looks really good. Body works good, nice and straight. Paint's pretty even, happy with that. And the color is all good. Front bumper trim is refinished, textured and refinished, and I've put the proper gap back into the moldings, both sides, so that looks way better. Put the license plate on, 